Here's one super secret fact for every brawler and brawl stars that you never knew about. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Shelly was remodeled a whopping four different times. She first looked like this during Alpha in 2016, was changed twice during Beta, and finally remodeled again for global launch before being tweaked again in December 2023. Rosa was actually the last rare brawler to have been released in the game, all the way back in April 2019, or five years ago, and just four months after global launch. Coco used to have a star power called Swan Song, which would automatically activate the moment he died and healed allies around him for 1,000 health. It was later replaced with the Decapo star power. Nita's bear, Bruce, used to have a health decay, kind of similar to how Bo's totem or Leon's gadget works now. Barley's actually voiced by one of Brawl Stars' own 3D artists. Unfortunately, his exact identity remains unknown. In El Primo's old description, which has since changed, it was actually revealed that he gained his powers after being struck by a meteor from outer space. Who would have thought? The Game Files reveals that Brock's code name is actually Rocket Girl. He was originally going to be a female, which is pretty wild. Bull is one of the few brawlers who still uses his original portrait from the beta version of the game. Colt's name is based on the man who invented and produced the revolver, Samuel Colt. Even though Gus lives in the ghost station, his origins actually remain unknown. In Gus's release animation, he was portrayed as a ghost, since he didn't appear in the photo being taken. However, in his brawler description, it's mentioned that he was often mistaken to be a ghost. So, the question is, is Gus a real kid or a ghost? We may never know. Despite Jackie's voice lines being censored, she doesn't actually swear at all. The uncensored version of her voice lines has words like Holy fruitcake! Dirty stinker! being used to mimic the swearing. Weirdly enough, Carl is the only robot in the game who actually sounds huh? human. Just like Jesse's turret, Scrappy, or Nita's bear, Bruce, Penny's mortar also has an official name, Lenny. If you look closely, Daryl's hat has the exact same symbol as the one on Sandy's head. This may indicate that they could be related somehow. Rico was originally called Ricochet until they shortened it just after global launch. A few years later, they even released a special anniversary skin with his old name and model to pay tribute to his origins. There was a time in 2020 where you could tap on 8-bit's screen and it would take you into a cool secret minigame called Project Laser. It was an ode to the space-based shooter that Brawl Stars was originally supposed to be. For a brief period of time during Season 7, Jesse's super could fire at enemies, even if they were hidden in a bush. How broken is that? The name Dynamake is a play on the word dynamite, since in the lore, he's depicted as an old miner who became a little too obsessed with explosions. In Tick's Brawl Talk release trailer, his eyes and mouth looked, well, a little different than they ended up being in the game. Shortly after Angelo's release, the pronouns used in his description were actually changed, going from him to them. Well, another reason to hate Angelo, I guess. Okay, I was just kidding there. I don't think there's ever been a more fitting name for a skin than Glitch Larry and Lori. Cause well, the skin lived up to its name perfectly. Hank is one of a few brawlers whose mastery title was actually changed after release, going from Lil Tenant to Prawn Ready. On the back of Ash's base model, you'll find the face of Paul, who was the game's lead character designer. They are both also Scottish. Next thing you know, Paul may have even voiced Ash. If Maisie hits an enemy with her super and then hits another enemy at the tip of her range with the pinpoint precision star power, she can fully charge her super in just two shots, which is pretty insane. Lola's Brawl Pass skin, Rebel Lola, was originally going to be called Chola, but it was changed last minute due to the name actually being offensive in some countries. There was a bug with Mandy's base model upon her release or the angry face present in her other skins was actually missing from her base model's bazooka. It's been speculated that Sam is married to Belle, and some even say that Sam and Belle's facial features suggest that they might be Colt's parents. Pearl was originally going to be a mythic brawler. You can tell this by the arrangement of her player icon pre-release. She ended up being released as a chromatic brawler, but then her rarity was changed again to an epic brawler after chromatics were removed from the game. Belle Goldhand is the only premium Brawl Pass skin that doesn't even have a custom losing animation. One of Colette's eyes, which is usually always covered by her hair, was actually visible for a single frame in this animation. The hat on Gail's icon looks a little different visually, 
from his model and game. Bonnie's sister is Janet. Source, trust me, bro. Okay, that wasn't funny. Two of Grom's voice lines are in Russian. Grostoska. Meaning sadness, longing. Yoki-paki. Meaning tree sticks. Grom itself is a Russian word, which translates to thunder. If you rotate Griff, you'll notice that there's a GG initial written on the back of his head. This probably stands for Griff's Gift Shop, since the lore revealed that he is the owner of the gift shop in Star Park. Edgar was launched in Brawl Stars on the 19th of December 2020, which is International Emo Day. Just a strange coincidence? I think not. Nani may have been named after, well, Nanny, since she's regarded as Jesse's caretaker. However, the word Nani also means what in Japanese. If you used B's second gadget when it was first released, her charge shot actually disappeared when the gadget finished. Right now, there's a bug where BB's gadget actually prevents her hypercharged super from splitting as it's supposed to. Frank has the same name and, well, Bill as the game lead of Brawl Stars. I'm sorry, Frank. In the Japanese version of Brawl Stars, Piper's actually named Elizabeth. Not gonna lie, the name does fit her personality nicely. Stu's helmet changes with his feelings. So, when he is sad, his helmet becomes light blue. When he is angry, it becomes red. When he is in love, his helmet turns pink. And the same goes for his pins, too. Ems' friend Zoner Gadget somehow has the exact same icon as Gene's Lamp Blowout Gadget. What is this copy pasta, huh, Supercell? Barry's real name is Barry. We know this because in his release animation, when Mandy gives his sign to Barry, he says, it's with an A. Pam actually has the hitbox of a tank, but the speed of a normal brawler, making her extremely easy to hit. Yep, I'm saying it. Buff Pam! Bo was actually the first brawler to have gotten a skin for all the rarities in the game. Well, maybe except a hypercharge one. Bruh. But that doesn't count, right? If you look real close, you'll notice that the red stripes on Moe's helmet is missing from his loading screen artwork. Lily was the first brawler whose origin story was directly revealed to us in her launch animation. Melody used to have a bug where she would lose all her supercharge if she hit an enemy after using all three of her dashes. Miko's name has two probable origins. It could either be a reference to a mic since he uses it for his attacks, or he could have been named after a genus of monkeys with the same name. Maybe it's both, who knows? Charlie was actually using Carl's attacks as a placeholder in the teaser footage of her brawl talk. Chuck, or to be precise, Scorpion Chuck, was the first brawler ever to get a completely uncensored swear voice line. Stigazzi! In his Italian voice line, Stigazzi! Mi entrata della sabbia degli occhi! And translates to fuck or shit. This may be a little hard to believe, but the dots on Doug's face aren't his eyes. They are his nostrils. The eyes are hidden under his hat. On April 3rd, 2023, shortly after she was released in the game, Willow was made temporarily unavailable due to a crazy bug that made the game crash every time she used her super. The head of RT can't actually fly above water, yeah. making his whole splitting and flying mechanic a little, well, pointless. Gray's old description reads, what's the meaning of orthochromatic? Well, it basically refers to the entire spectrum of light that is devoid of red light. This is pretty ironic considering Gray's mythic rarity is red. Well, makes sense why they ended up changing his description. In Indonesia, Buster is called Cam, because the name Buster is used for gears there. Interestingly, Otis's name is based on Frederick Otis Barton Jr., who was an American deep sea diver, inventor, and actor. Janet used to have this weird glitch, where after her super was over, she would teleport back to huh? the place where she first used her super. Did you know that there's a limit to how many eggs Eve can spawn at one time? Oh, and if you cross the limit, your super literally does nothing. Every time you launch an attack with default fang, the screen will have a cool little shake effect. However, for whatever reason, this is missing with his octo fang skin. Buzz's circle actually has a limit, and that's 10 minutes. You can test this out for yourself in the training cave or boss fights. Ruffs was the only new brawler whose name was changed since global launch, going from Colonel Ruffs to just Ruffs. If you or someone in your team launches an attack with Burger Lou, there'll be a cool little thumbs up effect when the projectiles travel. But what's cooler is that you'll actually see it as thumbs down if the attack is coming from someone in the enemy team. Talk about attention to detail. Squeak's residue gadget used to last an entire 10 seconds, which made it 
pretty broken. There's a character in the video game Pokemon, Diamond and Pearl, that's named Byron. And weirdly enough, he kind of looks like Mortis. Sprout is the only brawler who can destroy grass without actually leaving any grass patches behind. Mr. P is actually called Mr. C in the Indonesian translation of the game. In Max's losing animation, you'll notice a small heart symbol with a pulse. This could indicate that Max is always running out of energy, and this explains why she's so dependent on energy drinks. Brawler leaks are actually more common than you think. 25 days before Gene was announced in the Brawl Talk, he was already leaked to the community from a channel named Encrypted. Clancy used to be able to stun enemies, while he dashed with his tentacle retreat ability. Well, good thing this was changed, because it made him completely OP. The Cards of Misfortune Terra actually has a different pattern every time you attack. No one noticed, but the Beach Time Mortis skin was actually revealed to us two years before it made it into the game. Kit was actually teased to the community way back in February 2021 for the Star Force season. However, we ended up getting Colonel Ruffs in that brawl talk, and it took another three years for Kit to finally be released in the game. If Cordelius uses his super on Lily and she wins the fight against him, she will remain in the Shadow Realm until Cordelius' super duration runs out. There used to be a bug a few years ago where the healing gear wouldn't work at all on Meg. Surge's super used to make you jump directly on top of where you were rather than allowing you to jump forward, backward, or sideways. It's crazy how such a small tweak can make a brawler feel so much stronger and fun to play. Chester's Jawbreaker Super was so broken that it received four different nerfs in a single balance change. Strangely, Amber's attacks can actually burn the minecarts and gem grab. There was a cool little addition to the Terra's Bazaar environment way back in 2020, where Sandy would be shown sleeping in the background. But when you'd use Sandy himself, he would disappear from the environment. Leon's class used to be called Stealthy Assassin before it was changed to, well, just Assassin. Funnily enough, Crow, being a legendary himself, also has the most legendary skins in the game. Despite having no voice lines, Spike's voice was revealed two different times in his Dark Lord Spike pin. Uh, 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 uh. And during this old Brawl Stars animation. Now I'm your sword, your boy. Hey, Spike is my name. If I'm on the attack or hugging you, I'll tell you all the same. The dinosaur that Draco rides is not even a real dino. It's a puppet or costume which he wears to control its movements. Kenji is the first brawler in the game who attacks with a sword. So, there you have it. 84 secrets for 84 brawlers. Which facts surprised you the most? Leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll also have a blast with one of these two on screen. I'll see you there.